yeah, you know what it is. Closed session, Ruby Hornet, curtains, you and I, Hollywood, million dollar man, oh, let's go, man. Ah, oh, I supposed to be celebrated. Look at how I came up, shit, I elevated. You can't knock me off my horse like December, baby. I fit Right in that seven like a second grader I'm so ahead of my time, nigga, I'm incubated So Cold is like the closed sessions posse cut track I think every thing you do in hip hop You need one big out of control posse cut kind of thing And so So Cold would be our posse cut So one day I got a phone call from my manager And it was like, hey, Peter Bjorn and John likes you and they want you to rap on their show in Chicago. And I was like, Psh, yeah, because I like Peter Bjorn and John. We interviewed Mick Boogie probably a week before, and through Mick Boogie, we're able to get in touch with Peter Bjorn and John, and we're granted a video interview. So we were really excited. And so I like came up with all these raps. Uh, we went to the Metro. But my good friends from Ruby Hornet were there, and uh, I did a terrible, terrible, terrible freestyle for them like a long time ago when I was fucking, I can cuss some shit, right? I'm the undertaker cause I'm bot, bad, bot, bodying niggas. I'm fucking stuttering, freestyling, I'm shoddy with niggas. Yo, what the fuck, coming off, never stop shit. It was fucking terrible. When Peter Bjorn and John were doing their sound check, we saw Hollywood hold. And I was like, oh, what's up? And I was like, hey, man, what's up? I was like, man, fuck y'all niggas. Y'all niggas don't fuck with me no more, you punk-ass motherfucking Mark-ass niggas. And I was like, nah, man, you know, we like you. You're Hollywood, you know? You're, you're the one out of town, and you got you wear sunglasses at night. I don't really know what's up. Um, but we definitely we definitely mess with you, man. We're fans. I was like, how come y'all niggas don't ever hit me up no more? <laughs> uh, the next day, another tour came into town featuring Kids in the Hall and Warren G. I'm not even gonna lie, our first choice on Close Session was Warren G. And, and Warren G didn't come with us. Apparently he didn't as much want to record with us, but that's cool, because next best thing, we got Curtains and Knowledge, uh, from Kids in the Hall, I told Curtains about the whole Close Session vibe, and, and Curtains was really down, and we were happy to, to have him, and we immediately started thinking of uh, what Chicago artist or who we could possibly pair him up with, and, like clockwork, Hollywood Holt came to mind. He was like, hey, yo, you want to do this closed session? I was like, uh, yeah, because I'm a rapper. We actually drove and picked, picked up Hollywood Holt and took him to Soundscape, where Curtains was chilling. Actually, Kids in the Hall kind of also makes Soundscape their home base. And instead of going to a hotel or anything else, the whole tour bus was just at Soundscape eating and, and relaxing. They don't stop. A lot of niggas be on the road and shit, then they get to the city, they want to lay down, sleep. I jump right off the van. It, actually, the van pulled up to the studio. I'm on tour with Warren G right now. Kids in the hall, curtain steel. And uh, this is one of the stops on the dates. We had a really, really good track uh, from Million Dollar Man who had given us this production. Curtains is my nigga. Then they go try to pick some doo-doo. And then we, we ended up picking one of Mano's beats, which fits because Mano was there anyway, and like it was one of the dopest beats on the thing. So what was also cool is um, in, in Mike's conference room at Soundscape, uh, they had Mr. Jill, the tattoo artist from, from the city, set up shop, and uh, Double O got a tattoo, Curtains got a tattoo. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Finally, after like five years, I'm about to get the Olympic tattoo. Finally done. <laughs> yeah. Because I feel comfortable enough at my suck-ass performance that I'm just going to go get it. So we motherfucking, I wrote the chorus. Me and Mano wrote the chorus. Mano wants to change living legends. He thinks it sounds too cocky. I like it. That shit is hella cocky. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I got to think, think of a four-syllable joint besides living legends. We the freshest on the scene from coast to coast. We the niggas in the streets, you know the most. Cause we own, we made, and we paid, and we co. We changing the game, and it's so for sure. And then Jonas and Thurs, motherfucking, they split a 16, which was dope. And I, you know, I outswagged Jonas on the track. 
celebrate today. Party the night away. Well, Y'all rappers that just started singing. I've been doing this since the sixth grade. Cause you know, he was trying to do his thing and sing to get our hugs. But you know what I'm saying? I was a singing nigga on the record. Cause I did the chorus. And then I got all the hugs. Yeah. You know what it is. Closed session. Ruby Hornet. Curtains. You and I. Hollywood. Million Dollar Man. -o. Let's go, man. Oh. I supposed to be celebrated Look at how I came up, shit I elevated You can't knock me off my horse like December babies I fit right in that seven like a second grader I'm so ahead of my time, nigga, I'm incubated And I gave them niggas live, you could Ah, it's your neighborhood dope man, aka Curtains, aka Dope Boy C I'm on Ruby on it right now, getting tatted I'm Just came out the pool Dude ah. And then this nigga Curtains Rap for like six hours. Then I did my verse. Get a breath of fresh air if you're feeling high. What? Short as hell. Short. Like Kurt Cobain. We made it, we made it, we go. We yeah. changed the game and it's no. over for sure. Walking out of leaders with a bag full of swizz yeah. Your girly on my sack, so you mad saying this act. This back in the back of my pants make me sizz act. Yeah. And you acting mad like your ass on the wrist act. But we don't hear that cry, baby, whining that pussy shit that you lays about. To my nigga, why you ain't curtains for hanging out? It's your man Hollywood Hope for RubyHornet.com in your face. We making rap music because we're rappers, and that's what rappers do make rap music. Just waking up, thinking about my past years On how I made a special toast on that new year Told my mama I'll be fine through the Z shit Now these yellow girls turning blue, call them I kid My daughter calls me daddy, ladies call me between Ten of them play the ace, I'm jacking these queens <laughs> Boy, you're flushing me, this shit up on the scene Jelly niggas got their gun jamming, aiming at me That's why yo, one half of you and I with a Grammy book in my hand yeah, we feeling good. Shy Town just had some heralds. We gonna get all the hugs. Who? We. <laughs> we? You guys have always been super cool. Always held me down. Always been legitimate. Never fronted on nothing. I want to do it because it's fun. It's like it's like kicking in with my friends. You know what I'm saying? I get to go to the studio and kick in with my friends all day. Like that session was fun as hell. We was just in there getting retarded. We made it. We made it. We come. We changed the game. And it's over. 